What are placard à balai? Hello everybody, this is David over at ESO in France. We're your source for English-speaking French real estate agents in all of France and French real estate information in English. Today we're bringing to you some information that might be of interest to you and all apologies in advance for my French accent when I share with you some words in French, my attempt at pronunciation, and explain what we're talking about here because this could be of interest to you. Les placards à balai. That would be translated into English broom closets. And this is the reference to very small spaces that people could live in potentially in lodgements and in homes and apartments in Paris. Now, as of 2002, according to uh, Le Figaro, the law came into place that said that you can no longer rent out a space that's less than nine square meters. However, the person who wrote this article in the real estate section of the figure, and of course we're translating this to you, but we'll give you the link down below if you read French, you can read the original article. They're proposing that there might be a renewed interest in these broom closets for people who have to tell each other who they work from home, but they have to go into the capital from time to time during the week for a period of time or perhaps during the month. And it could be a more affordable option for them to purchase, perhaps as part of their business, one of these broom closets, one of these very small spaces, and use it as a, a base when they're in the capital. So like a flexible workspace, perhaps they could share the, the cost with somebody else who goes to Paris from time to time. This is David over at ESRA Fonts. I'm not sure if this could be of interest to you or not, but it's worth knowing about what's going on in the real estate market right now in France. And this is of the moment based upon the fact that we're now moving out of confinement in France and the concept of people returning to their workspace may happen quite rapidly, or maybe a lot of people may end up still working from home. So this option of, of people buying and investing in a placard de ballet could be quite interesting. Wonder what you think. If you wish, will you read this video, probably you listen to this video on YouTube, you're welcome to leave a comment down below. Remember to subscribe wherever you actually listen to our audio casts on news on French real estate. And remember, if you're looking to buy real estate in France, we do have a wonderful 110 tips French real estate buyer's guide that comes with a whole bunch of checklists that will help you figure out the process of what could be the ideal property for you to buy in France and how to find one that's the most affordable for you. It's a great investment before you start actually looking at real estate in France to check out this inexpensive buyer's guide. Of course, we can help you connect with an English speaking French real estate agent in many parts of France. If you're looking to move money into euros from outside of France, we do know some English speaking currency exchange providers. And if you're looking to place a mortgage in France on your new property, we can help guide you to an English speaking French mortgage broker. Lots of assistance will help you. Connect with us at esrafrance.com. Remember to subscribe where you listen to this and press notifications so you keep up to date on French real estate. Wishing you a very good day.